Normally I would greet you with Shalom Chavrim, <clears throat> which actually means peace, friends. But tonight we would have to say Ain Shalom. There is no peace. In the Middle East it is nothing but an uproar. And of course, biblically, it's something that we can expect. <clears throat> because we know that the prophetic events that surround Israel and her redemption are certainly begin to draw nigh. Um, I have before me in Isaiah 17 the very scripture that we can probably expect to see fulfilled in the very next days or even weeks, and that is the burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. That scripture has never been fulfilled, and Damascus is one of the oldest remaining cities continually throughout biblical history. But that's all about the change, no doubt, as we can see. Uh, and, and this is something we're going to be keeping you up to date with. Um, as I have been watching the events that are unfolding, uh, it, is, it is obvious uh, several things here, and I think it's important that you realize this. Uh, the United States presence in the Middle East is, is, is for more than one reason. And I know that there are political interests uh, when I say political interest, it is it is monetary because of the natural gas that's been discovered uh, off the coast of Israel and Lebanon there, and who is actually going to get control of that. Russia would like to have their hands on that as well as the United States. Uh, of course, it's who's who's ally there. Um, and uh, we can also see, too, there is still, and I know people probably get tired of me saying this, but there is definitely a Vatican agenda there. Uh, they're kind of quiet that Pope Francis has not really said much about it. His last uh, talk that he made on this was with king, the King of Jordan, and, and he said that the only uh, way was for dialogue in, in settling this, this, uh, this current situation that's going on in, in Syria. But at the, at the death of 1,400 innocent civilians at the hand of the President Assad over in Syria, it's, it's just an invitation now to, uh, for the United States to, to have a, a, a time, I guess you might say, to play. Uh, I hate to say it that way, but uh, what good, what good will, really will come of these strike here in, that the United States will do? In fact, if anything, if they were going to strike for a punishment for what uh, Syria has done and to try to weaken its capability of doing such an act again, why didn't they do it unannounced? That would have been the smartest way to do it. But nonetheless, they've given the Syrian government plenty of time to be able to move everything around, hide what they need, so that at the end of the day, when this is all said and done, the retaliation that will come out of this will be Syria will attack Israel. And of course, Iran, no doubt, may take the opportunity to take a crack shot at the United States with their fleet out in the Mediterranean there. Uh, what an interesting time, you know, because with all the missiles they have and the capabilities of reaching out into the Mediterranean, now, of course, I don't know how close the, the naval fleets are there, but it does make the U.S. kind of like a sitting duck, so to speak, uh, six of its warships in the region. Uh, of course, I know that some of those are down in the Gulf, uh, uh, the Red Sea area, and that would be further for them and way out of their range, but the ones in the Mediterranean maybe perhaps are not out of their range. So, <clears throat> but I can see the, 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 the stage that would be set up for the Gog and Magog war written in Ezekiel. So we can expect to see that Gog and Magog war come to pass or start up very soon. And the sad thing is, as Christians, as Jews around the world, there will be a lot of mourning. Um, we know that the scripture says that even the men have their hands on their hips in travail. Because with the Gog and Magog war, Israel will be invaded. They will actually get into our country. They will bring their troops down. And the purpose for this is God is starting his judgment. Syria is going to be the first one to be judged because Syria was the one that caused the dispersion of the house of Israel back in 723 BCE. So now it is the time of judgment and God will begin his judgment. Um, no doubt though, when the Gog and Magog war gets underway and the loss of life will be tremendous, especially when God intervenes, 
but then will come that false peace. Then the Vatican will, they, they will push for their, their interest in Israel. Um, and I can only warn my people that anything to do with the Vatican, you should not have anything to do with that. In fact, Israel should not have anything to do with anyone whatsoever. We alone are God's chosen people, and we alone are the ones that are ministers to, to Hashem. And that, that does not discount my Christian brothers and sisters. You have come into the, you have been grafted into the tree, to the, to the olive tree yourself, by the blood of Yeshua that he shed for you, and I thank God for you, and you are just as much right into the, the or partaking of the, of the root of the tree as we are as Jewish people. But I say these things to the Jewish people so that they will not play the politics with America, with any of the Arab nations, or with the Vatican, or anyone else. Because God is wanting to redeem us. So let's get ready for redemption. It draws nigh. Good night.